you already knew with the newest update from macOS, you can add a lot of widgets in your desktop to customize a little bit your Mac, and in this case, your MacBook. But did you know that you can hide pretty much anything from your desktop and transform your desktop to a minimal interface? Just go into system settings right here, just scroll down to desktop and dock, and then to hide the widgets, just scroll down here and just uncheck this show widget on desktop, just uncheck it, and you will not see any widget on, the, on your desktop. And to hide folders and files, just here on desktop and stage manager, just show items, just uncheck the on desktop. So you will not see pretty much anything on your desktop. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my video. Today, we're gonna see some really useful feature that you have on macOS, and you probably didn't know about that. You have seen in the intro how to hide pretty much anything from your desktop, so you will have a very nice and clean desktop. But now we will see the first real feature. Let's open, for example, the Finder right here. And then did you know that this part right here is called the Toolbar in the Finder app, we can say, and here you can add pretty much anything you want, because I usually have this YouTube folder on my desktop and I use it pretty much every day. So inside I have all my YouTube project and all my footage, everything. If I want this folder up here in the toolbar so that I can find it whenever I open the Finder app, I'm just gonna hold the common button right here and then drag this folder here to the toolbar. And I can just leave it wherever I want like this and that's it. And so I have here the YouTube folder whenever I need it. Very, very fast shortcut, but this is not the only thing that you can do because of course you can remove it by holding the command button right here and then just drag it off this folder and then you can remove pretty much any item. But you can also add files and other apps here in the toolbar. For example, I use pretty much every time Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I can add also Premiere Pro to my toolbar right here. So whenever I'm watching any files, any footage, I can just open right here the Premiere Pro app very, very easily and in a very, very fast way. Super, super useful. And at least, but not last, you can also add some files. For example, I have my intro right here and I can drag it and drop it here in the toolbar menu. So I have right here my intro files. I don't know why, but if you have a file that you have to open like frequently, I suggest you to add it to the Finder toolbar right there. Did you know that you can create web app from a website simply just by using Safari? So for example, I have Safari open it right here. And always, for example, I just use ChatGPT a lot. So let's go into ChatGPT that I have open it right here. And the first thing that we have to do, it is just to go into Safari option right here. Just go into file right here and then just click on add to doc option right here. Just click it and just name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it, of course, ChatGPT. And then I'm going to press add. Then right down below, if I go into my doc right here, I have ChatGPT. And if I click it, it will open a web app based on ChatGPT. So you have basically an app that emulates the ChatGPT, but it is only a light version of Safari, including only the ChatGPT app. Very, very useful. And you can do it pretty much with every website. For example, if you need YouTube, you can do the same stuff. And then you will have the YouTube app right here down below in the dock of your Mac. Very, very useful in my opinion. Then this is a very cool feature. As you can saw right now, I don't have pretty much anything on my desktop. I have only my YouTube folder right here. And you did already know that you can use the tags on macOS, of course. And I have my red tag here on YouTube just to recognize better my folder, even if it's the only one. But <laughs> that being said, did you know that you can change look of your folders? It is very simple. If you don't want this folder look, that's pretty much a boring style. So you can change it in whatever icon you want. So just right click on the folder and just click on get info. So you will see right here any info of the folder, of course. And if you want to change the icon of the folder, simply go into an image that you have already. For example, I have my uh, YouTube PNG right here. It's a little bit small, but it will do the job. 
I can just copy this image right here. And then if I click right here on the folder icon, you will see that it will be highlighted. Then just press paste and then you will have the YouTube icon on your folder. Very, very easy right here. I have my YouTube folder with the YouTube logo. Very, very cool. And in this case, macOS, it is very customizable. Remember that you can do this with pretty much every image and with every folder. Then did you know that you can copy and paste whatever item directly from the spotlight search? As you know, on macOS, the spotlight search is very, very powerful. And I will not stop to say that spotlight search, it is one of the best feature that you have on macOS. And as I said, you can just copy and paste items directly from this spotlight search. And it's very simple. Just open the spotlight search, then search for item. I can search for a file that's been called YouTube guide that I have in my YouTube folder. For example, YouTube guide. And you can find also some notes that I have. But if you scroll down, you can see that we have YouTube guide.pdf right here. So you can simply drag and drop this item or whatever file you need directly from here. So the spotlight search directly into whatever you want like this. And I have my YouTube guide right here into my desktop. Very, very easy. And you don't need to search between folders and folders anymore. Just type it down into the spotlight search and you will find pretty much anything. Then just copy and drag it whatever you want. And as you can see, if I open my YouTube folder, the YouTube guide, it's still here. So it does a copy and paste. It is not just moving the item. So you will still find a copy of the file. Then let's talk about the text replacement. Very simple. I've talked about this in one of my iPhone video. So you can check them out in my channel. And it's very simple. Just go into system settings right here. Then just scroll down and go into keyboard. So here, you will find on text under text input, you will find text replacement. And as you can see, I have some example right here and it is very simple to use. So just press on the plus icon right here and then you will have to add the replace text and under here you will have to add the text itself. For example, I have it already, but I can create another one by saying like sub, for example. So I can just replace all this text right here with only the sub word. And if I click on add, if I open a note and if I type sub, you can see that it says subscribe to my channel because it's free. And of course, if I click it, it will show up in my note. It is a faster way to type something. And of course, I have it already on YouTube, for example. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also I have it for my mail, so I don't have to type it over and over. Just type mail one and I have my mail address right here very, very convenient in my opinion. If you have to type faster, this is a way to do it. You can add maybe your data just so you have not to type it every time you have to edit something or maybe you have to add your personal data to anything. Just create a text replacement and it will do pretty much anything by itself. Very, very convenient. Then for this video, that was pretty much it. I hope that you learned something. Let me know down below if you didn't know some of this feature. And also, if you have other interesting features, just type it down below in the comments. Of course, if this video was somewhat useful, or maybe if you just find this channel interesting somehow, <laughs> just hit the like button down below because it's always appreciated. And also subscribe if you haven't already, because it, it helps me very, very much. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.